Hi there, Saul and Sam. Sam, this is Rambo. Not sure if Saul filled you in on why we are here, but Rambo just bought the Dry Creek Ranch and is looking into buying beef stock cows and is looking for a butcher to sell his cows too. Oh, really? Well, the name is Sam McGregor, and it is a pleasure to meet you, and I wish we had talked a couple of months ago. Well, it's it's good to meet you. Uh, McGregor, is that any relation to the name of this town? Yes. The town was founded by my ancestors, and currently, I have the honor of being the current mayor. Oh, really? Well, in that case, it's a double pleasure and honor to meet you. Uh... Now, what did you mean when you said you'd wished we had talked a couple of months ago? Well, I just opened up a second location for this restaurant on the other side of the valley, over in Prairie du Chien. I don't have enough capital to buy the needed land and build the slaughterhouse until I recoup those funds. I see. Well, that kind of makes sense. Huh. You know what? I do have some extra land by my silos that is unused and I have actually no plans for it. Um, that could be a great spot to build it, but I'm pretty sure I don't have the need of funds either. I just had an idea. How would you feel about going into business together? We can set up an LLC, and if you supply the land and cover one-third of the construction cost, I'll cover the rest, and we can split the profits 50 50 You know what? That sounds like a really good deal to me. Uh, let me give you the card from my uh, land manager, Mark, and he can get all the details squared away and get a contract written up for that. Sounds good. I'll give him a call in the morning. Once it is up and running, you will start getting some business from other farms in the area currently exporting their beef stock out via train. You know what? That's actually a really good point. It could be just more than just me interested in it, so yeah. This could actually be a really good money opportunity for us. Well, now that the business is done, can we please eat? I'm starving. <laughs> you know what? I, I must admit that I'm also rather hungry. So, what are we having? Well, I got a platter of smoked St. Louis-style sparrow ribs on a bed of fried onion strings with a platter of cheese curds, smoked brisket chili, cornbread, barbecue beans, and smoked jalapeno cheddar sausage. Wow. You know what? That sounds amazing. Let's eat. Well, thank you for the ride back and for all your help today. Really appreciate it. Sure thing, and it was fun. Call me when you want to get your dairy equipment fixed or if you need anything else. All right, that was actually really fun, and also I'm really stuffed. Oh, man. It's, uh... I'm going to have a bit of a food coma tonight and sleep well. I'm going to see Jimmy's truck here. I wonder where he's at. Oh, there goes Sally. Let's see. I bet she's probably up here in the barn. Hey, Jimmy, you up here? Oh, there you are. How's it going? All good. I just finished installing the cameras. They are all set up to save to the cloud. Here is the app you will need to download on your phone and it will walk you through the setup. You'll need to scan this QR code when it prompts and set up your email and password and then you are good to go. You have a total of six cameras installed. Four are on the cow barn to cover all sides, another is on the entrance to the farm, and the last one is on the entrance to your secondary farmyard. Wow, it sounds like I have a full coverage of the entire farm for that. Thank you so much for doing this. I mean, that's uh, incredible. Happy to help. Well, I need to head off, but you know where to find me if you need anything. Well, thank you again, and oh, I did actually need one more thing. Do you know anyone in the area that knows anything about greenhouses and apple trees? Actually, the person you want to talk to is Josiah. That is perfect, man. You're the guy with all the answers. Thank you so much. No problem, and have a good night. There's one of the cameras right there, and you know what? I gotta say, Jimmy did a really awesome job. This is actually gonna be nice, because I'll sleep much better at night, and I won't have to worry about the farm if someone's doing something mischievous. All right, there goes Jimmy, and you know what? I'm kind of in a bit of a food coma here. I think I'm just going to go ahead into the camper and relax for the rest of the night and maybe go to bed early because, well, the sun's down. I can't do anything anyway, so we have an early start in the morning anyway. So, yeah, I'm just going to call it a night, and uh, you know what? But before I do, I'm going to send Mark a text, give him a heads up about the deal with Sam because... 
I want to jump on that. That sounds like a really awesome opportunity, and I want to, uh, yeah, take advantage of that. And, you know, speaking of that, this uh, Beller, I still don't know if this thing works. I hope it does. I really hope it does. And I should have asked Jimmy about that when he was here, like, hey, if he has an extra Beller just in case, because if this thing doesn't work, I'm going to have to get one. But... You know what? Uh, that's going to be for tomorrow. So, yeah, let's just go ahead and call it a day and uh, we'll move on to the next day because we got a lot to do tomorrow. Oh, man, it is another beautiful October morning. I, yeah, I'm loving this. This, it's just amazing. I need to get like a little chair or bench here or something. I mean, just put, like right here, like just so I can come out here. In the mornings or evenings and just sit out here relax and enjoy the view i might look into that um but we have a lot to get done today i don't have time to sit this grass field need to get that unloaded into the forage wagon i also need to head into town to get uh some cows i need to get that done i also need to call josiah and get him out here to check out the greenhouse and the apple orchard but it's only about 7 o'clock in the morning, so I'm not going to call anybody, and I don't think anybody in town is open yet for a small farming community. It, this is not the big city. Um, so I'm going to start with that alfalfa field and get the belling done, but I'm not sure if this bell is going to work or not. I'm really hoping it does. I mean, I hope? Maybe? Yeah. Well, you know what? Let's find out. Let's uh, hop here in the John Deere and, uh, well, let's just, uh, let's just find out. Stop procrastinating. Get it done. All right, let's get this uh, tractor started up here. All right, there we go. And, yeah, I think we're just going to risk it. We'll just risk uh, seeing if the Bella works. Try it out in the field and hope for the best. What else can we do? Uh, so let's just start heading out here. And yeah, I think that would be the plan. It's just we'll just try it out, see if it works, and if hope for the best, because there's not much else I can do. Just close close the door here. Alright, we are out here at the Falfa field. We got the uh Beller turned on, so let's see. It looks like it's working. Everything's spinning good down here. That's encouraging. All right, let's uh, careful and hop up here and. Oh yeah, wow. So we lucked out. Everything's working. That is a huge relief because I really didn't want to spend any extra money. I know I have that 350000 coming soon, but it hasn't hit the count yet, and you know what? Until it hits the count, I ain't got it, and I don't want to spend that on the Beller. Nope. So, let me close the door here, and we're going to uh, work on this and get this field belled up here real quick, hopefully. Let me just do a little bit of pass here, um, just to kind of make sure it's picking up, and it looks like it is. So let's uh, wait till we get our first bell through here, and then uh, we'll check it and make sure that everything is working okay. All right, the first bell is done. So let's hop out and check it out, make sure everything is okay. Uh, looks like everything's picking up fine. Got our bell, except for that. But that was my fault, not the beller. I just turned badly. But this bell, this bell looks perfect which is what I want to see. That is a huge relief because I was really worried about this beller. So let's hop back in here because we got a lot of billing to do. And you know, this is our small field. It's going to have a lot of hay, which is great because we're about ready to have a lot of cows and we need hay to feed them. So I'm going to work on this and uh, yeah, get it done. And you know what? I want some music. So let's, let's turn on the radio. There we go. So what's get this done and uh, get the large field done and uh, yeah jam out to some music
falling down and I don't know what I would do without you. Yeah, you pull me up when I'm falling down. Hey, now look into my eyes. You can use them as a mirror. This is something that I know for sure. It's just something about you. I just want more. Tell me what you wanna do right now. Tell me what you wanna do tonight. I really don't care as long as I'm with you. Hey, now look into my eyes. You can use them as a mirror. Right, with this we are wrapping up our belling and of hay this will actually be the belling of the hay for the year as well too because we're getting into the winter months here pretty soon and we're definitely not going to regrow the fields in time before winter hits so what we have has to last us now i think i missed this yep there we go i found the spot that's pretty positive i missed it but yeah, so let's head back to the yard because I need to give Josiah a call and get him out here and then also head into town. So let's get this shut down, fold it up, and then head back over to the yard. And back over here at the yard. And let's get this put into the barn. So I'm just going to back it into here real quick, um, which is not necessarily the easiest thing to do but i think we got it yeah i think we're good we're good um speaking of that i need to get a shed because we're heading to the winter months and i cannot have this equipment parked outside and parking it in here is just not the best because it's not easy to get in and out of and we have the money from the insurance hopefully coming soon um but i think this is good here so let's uh check it and see and uh, oh boy I could have backed up more you know what I'm just gonna disconnect it here cuz yeah there's more room but we'll just kind of drop it here and I'll figure that out later cuz I need got things to do today a lot of things and I need to get out here and uh, give Josiah a call so let's uh, get this parked and then call Josiah provided I don't run into things first all right no damage no damage we're good we're good All right, we got a parked here, so let's uh, shut it down. And I think now we just need to uh, head into town here. But before we do that, let me close this up. And then I need to give Josiah a call. Uh, now, where did I park the truck? It's not over there. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's over here. I totally forgot. But uh, yeah, so let me uh, let me give Josiah a call and uh, yeah, see what he says. Hey there, Josiah. This is Rambo. I wanted to give you a call and check in and see if you had an update on the soil samples. And also, if you can check out my greenhouse as an apple orchard. Oh, I don't have the results yet on the soil samples. But I can be out later this afternoon to check out the greenhouse and the apple orchard if that works for you. Oh, that is perfect. Uh, thank you so much, and I'll see you then. Sure thing, and see you then. And we got more good news there with Josiah being able to come out later today. So hopefully it won't be too expensive to get the greenhouse and the apple trees up and running because that's another source of income and we need income. So let me get this uh, trailer disconnected here because we are going to hop in the truck and head into town because, yeah, we kind of need to get some cows because that's 
we're on a cattle quest and we're on a cattle farm and we have no cows yet. So yeah, let's take care of that. And we've made it down here into town and we are just pulling up now to uh, Rudy's feed store. And this is going to be an expensive visit because let's be honest, cows are expensive. I'm now looking forward to this. Ah, oh, man, this is going to be expensive. But you know what? We have to spend this money because this is a big part of what we're doing. We want to get cows. So let's uh, head in and uh, hopefully um, Saul won't fleece us too much. Hey, Rambo. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. And man, that was some really good barbecue food last night. I actually have never had something so good. Although, I'm still full. Like, I'm really full. Tell me about it. I only just came out of my food coma this morning. So how can I help you today? Well, I'm here for your favorite thing. I want to spend some money, buy some cows, and hope you can help me with that. And I'm also hoping you'll be able to deliver them. I can definitely help with that. And our delivery schedule today is pretty wide open, so I can get them delivered later today. What types of cows are you looking for? Well, I want to do a bit of a mix. Let's start with my main cow barn. I'm going to need to spend some money to get in the dairy part working. So for now, I'm just going to do beef stock there. I want to go all Angus. So I think for that, I'm going to start with 20 female cows, 20 heifers, 20 adult cows, and one bull. All right. I got that down for a total of 60 Angus cows and one bull. And what about your second cow barn? All right, so for that one, I'm going to be focused on all dairy cows at that barn. So I'm thinking I'm going to do all Holstein just to keep it simple. So let's go with 20 heifers, 20 female adult cows, and one bull. That makes for a total of 40 Holstein and one bull. Let's see. I have the cows here and in stock. And with delivery for the Holsteins, you're looking at $63,456. For the Angus cows with delivery... It will run you $51,981. That's a total of $115,437. I can get them loaded up and delivered sometime this afternoon. That is perfect. Uh, so, what, yeah, let's get you paid because I need to get back up to the farm to get all the uh, hay bales sorted and put away and get my grass loaded up into the silage bunker because yeah, I need to make some silage to uh, kind of recover from this because, man, this is a lot of money. Sounds good. Let's head over here to my office and get all the paperwork done. And in exciting news, my phone just went off and the $350,000 from the insurance just hit my account. So that is awesome. I'm going to need to look into uh, getting a shed built here pretty soon as well as getting this yard cleaned up and all the junk hauled away. So that will be a project once we get... Well, once we finish establishing the farm, which we're just about done here because we're just about done with the cattle quest because we've ordered the cows. They'll be delivered later today. Now, when I was talking with Saul uh, and signing all the paperwork, I actually don't pay him until I take delivery. So that'll be a little bit later today uh, when they make delivery. Uh, so it's still going to pay the 115000 And thankfully, with the insurance money, the 115000 is not quite as painful, but it's still painful because it's still 115000 But I'm not as worried about it now. And I mean, in, in reality, we're going to more than make that back eventually when we uh, off the cows. So that's good. Now, we still have a lot to get done here because I need to get all the hay bales put away so they don't get rotten. And sure we have plenty of food for the cows. I must also get all the grass loaded into this forage wagon here. And so I can get into the bunker and start fermenting. Now, if I have plenty of time, I'm hoping I do. But if I have, have enough time, I want to get this fields all sprayed down with herbicide to kill all those weeds out there. Because that's going to have a huge effect on our crop. And we want to get it done now. Um, now, for the hay bales, we're going to start with that because it's the hardest gonna have to use the skid steer loader and i'm not looking forward to that because that's not going to be easy um but let me get the uh, john deere here i'm just gonna hop in here real quick and we're gonna connect that to the forge wagon get it pulled out just so that we're ready to go 
Um, and then we'll worry about the uh, bait. Oh boy, I'm still uh, man using that skidster loader to do all those bells. That's just not gonna be fun. But we'll get it done. So let me get this backed up here and get it connected, and then um, so we can get this out of the way and uh, be ready for the grass once we're done with the hay. All right, I think we're just about there. Just a little bit more. All right, I think we're good. All right, got the forge wagon all connected up, and I'm just gonna park it here for now because we're not gonna be using it until we're done with the hay bales, and we're not gonna need this tractor for that. So I'm gonna go ahead and close the door here, and then we're going to, uh, yeah, use the skid steer loader. I'm really not looking forward to this. I mean, that thing moves really slowly. So it's going to be not fun, but it's what we got to do. I need to look into getting like a, a telehander or front loader or hold on. What is that back there? Well, speaking of front loaders, that's a front loader. But I don't think any of the tractors, well, it's blue. So maybe that's for the ford i mean using the ford would be a whole lot easier but it has the check engine light you know but it did start it, it ran so you know let's fill it up with fuel and see if it runs see if it moves let's go give it a shot because that would be a huge time saver if it works All right, let's see if it starts up. It starts right up. I mean, the check engine light is on and it's basically out of fuel, but you know what? I think it, I think it will work. You know what? Let's try it. Let's just try backing it out of here. Make sure everything moves and do it slowly. Well, it looks like it's working. I'm just gonna take it slow at first because I don't want to break it although you know what let's just go for it because i mean this tractor is old let's just be honest it's old it's had a lot of hours on it and um if it breaks well you know what if it breaks <laughs> we'll just push it to the side of the road so it kind of lives up to that name you know found on road dead but it kind of sounds like it's still running fine so yeah, let's see how it does. Well, over here at the fuel pump, and I'm just gonna fill it up with fuel and go for it. Because it's running, and it actually looks like it's in somewhat decent running shape. It definitely needs a tune up and some work done, but paint job, but yeah. Ah, oh, boy, fuel is so expensive. All right, so let's uh, head over here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this to pull the trailer out and hook up to that front loader. Got the trailer moved with no problems. And I got to say, this Ford's actually surprising me. It's uh, running pretty good considering it needs a tune-up really bad and some work done. But it's running. It's running like a champ. So let's get this connected up here. There we go. And uh, I think what we're gonna do is let's back out of here and then I will check the hydraulics to make sure everything's working correctly. All right, there we go. So make sure I have enough room. All right, so let's try it. Uh, yeah, so it's moving it around. So I think we're good to go. So I'm gonna connect to the bell spike and then get out there and uh, start building up the uh, hay bales. Because, uh, yeah, that's going to be much easier now that we have a front loader. All right, I think we're good there. All right, so I just need to hop out here, connect those hoses, and then we will be good to go. There we go. All right, got the Ford parked out at the smaller alfalfa field, so it's ready to go. Now I'm going to hop on this tractor here and grab the builder, because I actually haven't driven this tractor 
but I think it's in pretty good shape from what I remember. I mean, it needs some maintenance and a little probably some work done as well, but yeah, it's running really good. And, but you know, it's a pretty basic cabless tractor, so we're going to use this for hauling the bells around. I'm really hoping this bell trailer works. I'm also hoping this uh, tractor has enough power to pull it because it probably doesn't. But we're gonna we're gonna try it. We're gonna give it a try. Man, I need to replace this or get, at least get it re, you know, refurbished because it's not in good shape right now. There's a lot of rust there. The boards are falling apart. Hopefully, it will hold these bells. We're about to find out. All right, moment of truth. One, will this tractor handle the bells? I'm sure everything's hooked up and it looks like it's good to go, so. Yeah, so that's gonna be the first question, first test. Will this thing be able to handle the bells? Um, we have a rear weight. I'm not sure how big it is and how much it can handle. So I think for starting out here, we're gonna try it with, you know what? Let's just go all the way. We're going to go for the full three bells. Let's put this tractor to the test and also the uh, trailer to the test because how we know what the limit is if we don't push it. So let me go down here. Let's get one more bell. And then we're going to get this loaded onto the trailer. Moment of truth. Will it hold? Will it hold? Uh, looks like it is. Okay, that was the part I was really nervous about. It, uh, it, it's holding it. So I'm going to go around. Let's get the rest of these bells loaded up and then uh, move on to the large field. Oh, we got the first six bells loaded onto the trailer from our small field and it's holding fine, which is awesome to see. I'm taking this next three bells, which is the last three from the small field. And I'm going to go ahead and feed the cows. We don't have the cows yet, but we're about ready to have some cows. So I want to give them some food so they have something to eat. Uh, three hay bales I think should be plenty for at least the first couple of days uh, I'm not worried about the main cow barn because the previous owners have left a bunch of silage and TMR in there and I had it checked and it's still good so we're going to leave it there and they have plenty of food over there for now so with that done uh, we're going to focus on the large field of getting all those bales put away let me just uh, check this to make sure yeah, we're good. So we have about 24,000 liters. That should be good because we only have 40 cows plus a bull. So we should be good. So let's uh, focus on the large field now, which has a lot more bells. And we need to get all of these picked up and put into our bell shed. All right. This should pretty much give us a full trailer. Um, I, think, I think we're good here about 12 bells and it seems to be holding it so i think we're good so let's uh get these put away into our bell shed and then we got the rest of the field still to do and this is the last bell and we are all done we actually ended up with quite a few bells which is a really good thing um because we're not gonna be able to do any uh make any more hay until well, springtime because we're getting too close to winter and the alfalfa fields they're not going to regrow in time before winter hits so um thankfully this uh large alfalfa field is deceptively large but with all these done here our next task is we need to get all the grass loaded into the forage wagon and into the uh to the bunker so it can start fermenting so let's head back to the yard and hop in the john deere and get that started
All right, got the first headland done, and that filled the trailer. All 120,000 liters in just one headland. This is a large field. This is gonna take a minute. This will take a minute. But let's get this unloaded into the bunker so we can get back out and get the next load. All right, I think I'm forward enough, so let's start dumping it here and just pull forward slowly so we can uh, get a nice even dump here of the grass under the bunker. I'm just gonna stick to the wall here and then we will, uh, the next load, we'll do the other side of the wall here. All right, trying to keep it around two miles an hour. All right, I think we're good. I think we did it. <gasps> There's the uh, trailer with the cows. All right, let me just go and shut this off here because I'm going to take care of that. Um, let me just check this though and see. Well, I was mostly smooth. I think overall I did pretty good. I probably could have started a little bit later in the bunker and ended smoother, but hey, it's in the bunker. That's all that matters. We'll, we'll clean it out and smooth it out later. But let's head over here and get the cows unloaded and... Uh, so we can get back to the grass. All right, got the $115,437 paid and they are on their way back to the to the uh, animal dealer, to uh, Rudy's there, and they're gonna grab the second load, which will be the dairy cows, which will go to their other barn. They said I don't need to be there for that. They'll just unload it and they'll text me when it's all done. Uh, so let's get this refueled because we're almost out of fuel here. And then we are going to hop back into the grass fields and get everything done. And, uh, yeah. Then the fun part comes of uh, compacting the grass and getting it all smoothed out. But one step at a time. Let's start with uh, getting this refueled. got all of the grass and there's a lot of it got it all loaded in here though yeah i think it was about three and a quarter loads so somewhere around 380 390 thousand liters of grass which is gonna be phenomenal that's gonna be a lot of such for us to sell um but right now i'm just driving back and forth and have been doing this for like the last hour hour and a half i i kind of lost track of time but we want to make sure it is nice and compacted. This is required to remove as much air as possible before we cover it up. And I think we're good now. But getting that air out is really important because the uh, microorganisms called uh, lactic acid bacteria, they are needed to carry out the fermentation. And that organism, they live or actually they thrive in an oxygen free environment. So you want to remove as much air as possible by compacting it before we cover it up. Um, but we're all done with that. So I need to, well, you know what, what I'm gonna do? Let's, let's clean this tractor because it's dirty again. That's the thing about a farm. You clean it, you use it, it gets dirty, you wash it, and then you just repeat. Wash, winch, and repeat. Um, but I wanna keep this tractor clean because it's a, really good tractor and i want to take care of it because we have it on the lease and i don't want to you know stay on jamie's good side because he's been really good to us um, but also i wanted to eventually buy this because this tractor i think meets pretty much everything we need and it would be a great addition to the farm so we want definitely want to take care of it but let's uh, get this all cleaned up and then i need to get the uh, bunker all covered up all right, the grass bunker is all covered up so it can start fermenting and probably in about a month or two, we will have a bunch of... Oh, that's uh, that's Josiah. All right, let's uh, go and greet him because that's the uh, other thing I'm gonna get done today is I wanted to get the um, greenhouse and trees uh, looked at and hopefully, fingers crossed, 
they won't need a lot of money to get fixed. But let's uh, go say hi and uh, get down there and check those out. Hey there, Josiah. Thank you so much for coming out. Um, so the reason I called you out here is because, well, I found this greenhouse and apple orchard hidden out there in the trees on the other side of the grass field and hoping it won't cost too much to get them up and running. Happy to help. Let's go check them out. All right, so here is the greenhouse, and I have no clue what shape it is. So let me get these doors opened up for you so you can check it out because, yeah, man, I, I really don't know. Um, I'm hoping everything's good, this last door here, but yeah, that's why you're here. So yeah, just take your time, check it out, and let me know. The good news is that this greenhouse is in pretty good shape. Replacing some of the water hoses is the only thing that needs to be done. Well, that sounds like excellent news. Uh, how much will that cost? You know what? I have spares in my truck and can quickly swap those out for you. Call it $50 and we're good. That's awesome. Let's do it. Ah, oh, man. Nice job on that uh, greenhouse. I mean, you got those swapped out like in 10 minutes or something. But, uh, so this is the apple orchard. And... Um, you know, apart from the obvious, it's there's weeds, there's shrubs. I need to get those all out there. My concern is the trees. They look dead to me. Are they salvageable? Can they be saved? And also the irrigation system. I know the water tanks are dry and everything like that, but I want to make sure it all works. The trees don't look too good, but they will bounce back with some water. However, these weeds and shrubs must be cleared for good tree health. Let's check the water tank. All right, it looks like it is cracked and leaking. Since it is made of plastic, I don't recommend trying to repair it. If the plastic is cracking and breaking like this, it is brittle and needs to be replaced. A new one will cost about $4,000 to deliver, install, and connect to the irrigation system. Well, that's a bit more than the greenhouse, but you know what? I think it's worth it because I'm pretty sure I'm going to recover the funds in this, so let's do it. Sure thing. I'll get it ordered and let you know as soon as it arrives so we can come out and install it for you. Thank you so much, Asai. You've been an enormous help. Um, yeah, so I'll, I'll, uh, once we get back to the farmyard, I'll uh, grab my uh, laptop and get you paid. Sounds good. Well, I need to head off to my next appointment. Thank you again for your business. I really appreciate it. Sure thing. Let's uh, head back to the farm and get you on your way. All right, so Josiah is all paid and he's on his way. And pretty much all I need to do to get the uh, greenhouse up and running is just head into town and get some supplies and we'll be good to go. The apple trees, I need to go through and get the uh, weeds all pulled out of there and the shrubs. Um, Josiah's gonna get the uh, water tank in. So it'll take a little bit of time, but it sounds like I should have that probably like in the next couple of days. Um, but apart from that, we need to, well, to wrap up phase one, we need to get all the weeds sprayed. So let's hop in the John Deere and we're going to use that to connect to the sprayer and, um, get this done. Actually, I think about this, you know what, let's not use the John Deere. You know, we had some good luck with the Ford. It worked out really well. So we'll try the new Holland. A little bit more risky than the Ford, because the Ford was old, not worth a whole lot. The new Holland, also old, but yeah. Actually, before we do that, let's head over here. Let's check out the cows, because you know, we're a cow farm. Cows are an important part of our what we are, and we finally have cows. I want to make sure that they are getting all settled in here. They have a very large pasture, so they're probably going to enjoy that. I really hope they do. And it looks like they're already out here exploring, which is awesome to see. I mean, it's, it's great to see that we have cows. I mean, I'm excited about that because that's an important part of what we are. We're a cow farm. Um, and they have plenty of food, so yeah, they should be good to go. I think they're going to be happy. Uh, so let's uh, head over here and let's hop in the New Holland and uh, give it a try. It's going to be a little bit risky because I think it runs. I haven't, te te you know, haven't checked it out or anything like that. I haven't tried it, but we had some good luck with the Ford. So I think we'll do well with the New Holland too. 
It's a little bit more riskier though, because this is worth a little bit more money than the Ford. It's a little bit newer, but it, you know, let's just try it out. What's the worst that can happen? I have a more expensive repair bill, but it starts up. The check engine light is on and we are pretty much out of fuel, but now the challenge here is getting out of this barn. I think this should give us a good line, which is another reason I want to get the shed. And that's going to be part of what we're going to be focusing on now, now as we wrap up uh, getting the farm established, because we pretty much have the farm established now. Just need to get the, uh, you know, the, all the uh, barley fields sprayed with herbicide to make sure there's no weeds, and that's pretty much it. But let's uh, pull up here and get this refueled. Let's see, let's grab the little nozzle here, and uh, this sh should be pretty easy. Oh yeah, there we go. Well, seven hundred dollars worth of fuel, and yeah, it is blowing out a lot of black smoke because yeah, it needs some work, but it's running. I mean, so I think we're gonna do. It. What's this? Uh, you know what? Uh, before we do that, let's give this thing a wash because this is pretty dirty, even for me. All right, it is looking much better. I mean, this is a totally different looking tractor. Just a, yeah, wow. It's actually a really nice tractor. I definitely want to get this fixed up because this is actually a really, really nice tractor. I mean, it needs some touch up on the paint, definitely needs a tune up and some work done there, but overall, really nice tractor. So let's get this hooked up to the sprayer and get out in the fields. Burned out like a wandering in. I shone bright in my journey was over. What I sought when I ran was back where I began. No matter the rain, no matter the storm, I'm coming home. I'm coming home. Leave open the gate, don't turn off the light, I'm coming home. No matter the rain, no matter 
I'm coming home Leave open the gate Don't turn off the light I'm coming home I'm coming home